This is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, good one, puppy. Good thing she's a water-loving dog. So we're just out here exploring today. I was actually looking for a place to bring a friend hunting out here. You're really having some troubles here, aren't you, girl? <laughs> and I stumbled across this lake. It's just down a little goat trail. Not much of a road at all. And uh, I think I really got a gem here. It's a nice little lake. It opens up beyond these reeds here. Nice clear water. A little weedy around the shore, but no big deal. Somebody's made this rickety old boardwalk. And there's a canoe that they've left here. I guess this used to be somebody's special fishing place. I'll show you why I think that. <laughs> it's fairly obvious, actually. Right over here, somebody's brought out this nice little bench. Gone fishing, Steve Lake, in memory of Steve Tardai, September 15th, 1956 to June 3rd, 2006. Well, I'm going to share your lake with you, Steve, and I'm going to keep it special as well. I'm going to bore your canoe, though, see what I can see out there. Thanks for adding your noises, dog. Hey. Hello. It's been a long time since I've been in front of the camera, as you probably have all noticed. All right, go play, girl. Figured it's about time. Had a lot going on. Lots of excuses. Won't throw them at you. But anyways, I'm here now, and kind of on a new mission with uh, YouTube here. I'm gonna start making some videos again, and I just wanted to do a quick intro to a series that I'm gonna do, and I hope you will like it. Um, have to get used to being in front of the camera again and all that kind of thing, so got to start somewhere. Um, was never really into doing reviews, uh, gear things, product stuff because I don't want to make people feel like they have to have all kinds of gear and cool stuff to go out in the woods. But um, I am going to do a series on some different types of gear and uh, and some skills. The series is going to be about 50 things. That's right, five zero things. Each individual thing is going to be a video of its own. And they're not survival items. They're not specific to anything bushcraft or um, self-reliance or any of that kind of thing. They can be useful for all those um, different mindsets and different goals. But uh, the items that I'm going to show you and the skills are 
what I like to have, what I'm comfortable with, um, uh, to make me capable of taking advantage of any adventure, as small as it might be, that might come my way. I'm not the kind of guy that typically will go out and uh, specifically go out in the woods for hunting. You know, if I go in the woods, um, sure I might be hunting, but I might also be uh, fishing if I find a nice fishing pond or pool, uh, or, or just watching nature, wildlife, um, exploring, uh, you name it. Uh, bushcraft, if I see a good opportunity there. And yeah, survival skills as well. Um, they all kind of go hand in hand. But you definitely don't need 50 things on your person or whatever just for wilderness survival or, or that kind of stuff so they're they're kind of frivolous but it's going to be fun it's going to be fun for me and i'm hoping it's going to be fun for you to watch and uh i'm pretty committed to making this series happen got my trusty old notebook here and i already have all 50 things written down in this book they're all here in these pages I won't show them to you because they're kind of a secret until I reveal them and they won't come out in any particular order not in order of importance or anything like that but uh, yeah all 50 things are right here in the book and then as I get out in the woods and do my own uh, exploring and adventuring I'll tackle one when I can and hopefully I'll get a couple up every week that'd be great and it's gonna take me probably into winter to get them all done but uh, yeah we'll do that I'll keep them short and concise and uh, maybe I'll get some other videos out in the meantime of, of different places and, and uh, good times out in the woods. So, yeah, hopefully you can keep that in mind as we go through these different things. Um, and just, just be aware that they're not necessities for survival, most of them. They're just good, fun things to have along so you can take advantage of whatever comes your way. You know, you can be a good all-around outdoors person and uh, just be prepared for anything. So... With that in mind, I'm going to keep on trucking through the woods here and find a nice spot and start on video number one. Hope you stick with me. Thanks.